Hundreds of full-length films produced the 1960s. The decade is known for being in historical drama, psychological horror, and comedy. Psychological horror films extended beyond the stereotypical monster movies and to include more twisted films such as Psycho 1960, comedy films such as The Pink Panther, Breakfast at Tiffany, science fiction or fantasy films such as the, the Time Machine 1960 and Mysterious Island 1961. <laughs> Television shows during the 1960s reflected good old-fashioned ideas of family values. Television was also just starting to really become an essential item in many households. Some shows would influence the lives of people on how they act, dress, and play their roles as a family. Shows like Danny Thomas Show, The Andy Griffin Show, Leave It to Beaver, Hazel, Bewitch, Dick Van Dyke Show, The Flintstones was the first prime time cartoon family to maintain these family values. Saturday morning shows were just becoming a child ritual during the 1960s. Shows like Underdog, Superman, Space Coast, Bugs Bunny, Jetsons, The Flintstones, Adam Ant, Fantastic Four, Scooby Doo. Hey, Ralphio, you want to go uh, get groovy? Sure thing, Biff. That would be swell. Say, Ralph, you got any uh, <laughs> smokes? No, I'm too groovy of a cat for that. Do you have any chicks? No, but golly, that'd be super duper if I did. Yeah, we could rock out maybe. And uh, cut loose and hit the town. That'd be bad. Hey, Ralphio. Yeah, Biff? Is your mom still a babe? <laughs> What's it to ya? I liked her heavy discussions on peace. I'll slug ya if you don't quiet down. Cut it, the man's coming. This slang was used amongst most men and women in the 60s. The 60s were one of the most influential decades for music. The counterculture movement embraced rock and roll as its loud anthem of protest. Bob Dylan was a folk artist, poet, musician, songwriter, and activist. Bob Dylan's career has undoubtedly been one of the most popular and influential in the history of popular music. His musical legacy and his social relevance have inspired generation after generation of musicians. He was used as a vehicle for political expression his songs celebrated civil rights and some even became anti-war anthems. Dylan changed the way many people looked at music. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. The record company called Motown played an important role in the racial integration of popular music. Motown was the first record label to primarily feature African American artists who achieved crossover success. In the 60s, Motown and its soul sound came to be known as the Motown Sound, a style of soul music with a distinct pop influence. The Supremes were one of the more popular Motown artists. Several bands in the UK were creating a buzz in the United States which came to be known as the British Invasion. The Rolling Stones, The Who, The Animals, and The Beatles were all the most prominent bands that defined this movement. The Beatles were by far the most popular and hugely impacted the culture with their lyrics and tendency to experiment with different musical sounds. The Beatles helped propel rock music into mainstream America. The group consisted of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. Their enormous popularity came to be known as Beatlemania. Many say that the Beatles are one of the most influential bands of all time. The Beatles have sold more albums in the U.S. than any other artist. Their most famous songs include Hey Jude, Let It Be, Here Comes the Sun, and I Am the Walrus. A 
Other popular artists in the 60s include The Beach Boys, Simon and Garfunkel, The Mamas and the Papas, Aretha Franklin, Pink Floyd, and The Bee Gees. Woodstock was a symbolic culmination of a decade of social reform and questioning authority. Over half a million people arrived on a dairy farm in New York to see performers like Janis Joplin, The Grateful Dead, Credence Clearwater Revival, The Who, and Jimi Hendrix. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most pivotal moments in popular music history. Many of the people who attended were hippies and called it the Summer of Peace and Love. The hippie subculture was originally a youth movement that arose in the United States during the mid-1960s, swiftly spreading to other countries around the world. The meaning of the term hippie is from hipster, and it was initially used to describe beatniks. Some created their own social groups and communities, listened to psychedelic rock, embraced a sexual revolution, and used drugs such as marijuana and LSD to explore alternative states of consciousness. Hippie fashions and values had a major effect on culture, influencing popular music, television, film, literature, and the arts. Since the widespread movement in the 1960s, many aspects of hippie culture have been assimilated by mainstream society. Thank you. 